YouTube, what is good? What's up, YouTube? I'm Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. On this channel, we focus on the two Fs, fragrances and fashion. So if you like looking good and smelling great, I think you enjoy the content on this channel. Uh, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And while you're at it, make sure you hit the bell icon as well. So that way you get notified when I upload new content on the channel. So guys, I wanted to bring you guys something that uh, is very unique today, a very unique concept. So the House of Commodity, guys, this house, if you guys remember, I uh, may remember a few years ago, the, the fragrances from commodities started to pop up in rack stores all across the country. And um, by all accounts, uh, they were phasing things out. So uh, all those nice fragrances, like uh, I think they had uh, Bergamot, uh, Velvet, a lot of other fragrances, again, um, that uh, were done through the House of Commodities started popping up all over the place. They were going out of business, and so we thought. So they've had, they made a resurgence. They kind of did some remarketing, and now they've come out and released uh, their fragrances again, but now with a brand new unique concept that I want to talk to you guys about today. This is something that I think is very unique. Um, I'm not going to save the, uh, you know, the description and kind of getting into it uh, when I actually show you guys the fragrances, but we're going to be talking about the house of commodity uh, today. And I'm going to tell you guys all about this new concept and a uh, new way to look at uh, doing fragrances. I think this is something that will really 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 work so i'm going to get into it so if you guys want to see uh the new marketing for these fragrances from commodity and find out why i feel like this is such a unique concept and fun concept and i think it's going to work and you guys are going to be excited about this then you know the routine man keep it locked right here All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. Now, I want to say, guys, if you want to find these fragrances, I know that you can find these at Twisted Lily. Uh, they sent me these so that I could present them to you so you can kind of get an idea and introduce this new concept. So I will make sure that I link it down below where you can find these just in case you guys want to check these fragrances out. Again, it's a dope concept. So again, the House of Commodity. Phase their fragrances out, rebrand it, remarket it, and now they're back and better than ever. So the concept of these fragrances is something that is very, very interesting. <clears throat> we have all different types of wearers or people that enjoy fragrance, different types of fragrance enthusiasts. Some people love fragrances that are bold and punch you in the face and you can smell them from a mile away. Some people like fragrances that are a little bit more, more personal and only, you know, maybe you and the few folks that are within your scent bubble, as we call it, can pick up that beautiful sillage from the fragrance that you're wearing. And sometimes we have some users out there that just want a fragrance that's really personal. It's really just for you, you and your own little bubble, and maybe the one or two people that get really, really close to you. We have different types of wearers. So that, with that in mind, this concept that commodity has, the House of Commodity has come up with is absolutely fantastic because each of their fragrances is going to come in one or three different concentrations and they fit the three descriptions that I just gave. So the fragrance that I want to talk to you guys about today is called Velvet. <clears throat> now this is one presentation of it. It comes in this white box and then you have the second presentation of Velvet, the black box, white lettering, and then you have the third presentation which is a black box with gold lettering. Uh, I will read this from the back of this fragrance because this is going to come on each box if you actually decide to purchase one of these fragrances. It says the brand, this is their brand philosophy. The art of perfumery should be intuitive. At Commodity, we are demystifying fragrance in order to make the exceptional accessibility. We would like to keep the things simple. No smoke, no mirrors, just a passion for the ethical, elemental, and atypical. So with this, what you're going to get is this, guys. If you're a person that likes your fragrance, just something personal and close to you, then you're going to want to go with this one, and it's called personal. All right, so these fragrances come in three different kind of varieties or concentrations almost, if you will, although the notes are different in all three, but personal. This is for me and the ones that I allow, allow to be close to me. So if you like a more intimate interpretation of these fragrances, 
then you're gonna go, wanna go with the white box, which this is personal. So really quick on presentation, let me open this up. There's a sleeve on each one, you slide the sleeve off. And then you slide this, the top of the box off. On the top, it will have an, the description of the fragrance that's inside, which of course, again, this is called velvet. So there's a uh, note here that kind of describes this fragrance. A luxurious fabric woven, woven from silk for a dense, soft rose petal texture. An oriental made sheer for a breathable indulgence when it meets bare skin. Uh, as smooth as velvet. And that's kind of the way they're marketing uh, this scent right here. Now, so this interpretation of the fragrance, let me show you how it sits in the box first. So again, this one comes in the white bottle. This is the personal. This is the one that's gonna sit closer to the skin. Now, what I do like about this as well is all the notes in each iteration of the fragrance is different. So they found a way to give you a similar scent DNA by using different notes. And again, making it really personal, making one that's a little bit more projecting and uh, that works a little bit better as far as performance and then one that's really in your face and I'm gonna get into that. But this is the personal one with the uh, from Velvet. So this is what the bottle looks like. Uh, notes really quick on this one. You have vanilla flower, rose petal, skin musk, and clove buds. So that musk is gonna sit very close to the skin. It's floral. And I smell the fragrance and again, you get, you get those flowers. You get a lot of the rose, a lot of the uh, vanilla flower and that musk in this one right here. And again, I sprayed it. This one sits really close to the skin. And that's the whole point of this collection of fragrances. You're gonna be able to choose which version of velvet that you like the best. So if you like the one that's gonna sit close to the skin, then you're gonna wanna pick up uh, personal uh, for yourself. Now, the second one, this one is called Expressive. So this one is going to be, as you probably could imagine, it's gonna project more than the personal interpretation of this. It is gonna do a little bit better as far as the projection and performance. So presentation, same thing. You're gonna slide off the uh, outer layer here, the box. I'll go ahead and take these fragrances out. So very similar DNA, but it's, it, it's a, warm pre, a warmer presentation. And again, it's gonna perform a little bit better than the personal as far as the projection. So what's in the expressive is, and I, this is my favorite of the three, I will tell you, there's roasted almonds, uh, coconut water. So you have the rose petals and the vanilla. So that's the kind of the connection between the two. You have rose and vanilla in the first one. And then on the base, you have white birch and amber. So this one comes, again, black bottle with white writing. And like I said before, I love that element that the roasted almonds add to this. That nuttiness is absolutely fantastic. I will tell you now, that's why that's my favorite of the three. I love fragrances that have uh, the note of almond uh, in it. And again, that's one of the primary notes that you're gonna get in this one. So comparatively speaking to the personal, like I said, this projects a little bit more. It's not a huge projector, but it is gonna push out more than the personal. So if you're a person that kind of likes the fragrance too, for you and just those people that are kind of in your surroundings, they don't have to get close up on you like with the other one, but if they're about within that two or three feet radius of you, they're gonna be able to pick this fragrance up. This is my favorite of the three. Again, love the roasted almond in this fragrance right here. Again, this one is called Expressive. And last but not least, for the people out there that like for everybody to smell you, this is gonna be the interpretation of the fragrance that you're gonna to wanna to go with. This one is called Bold. Again, it's a black box, and this kind of gold or copper uh, colored leathery, um, writing, I'm sorry, on the box. Just like the other ones, presentation is the same. Pull it out. Now, this one also has the roasted almond on the top. But when you start getting into the, the heart notes and the mid notes, they're a little bit, the heart notes, I'm sorry, and the bass notes, they're a little bit more uh, bold and a little more in your face. So you have saffron, labdanum, and amber. So you get those really smoky, resinous notes along with patchouli. And there's a smoke accord on the base of this as well. Just like the other ones, this one just just different. It has the copper lettering on it. And again, of the three, as you can imagine, you don't need many sprays of this stuff right here. You get two or three sprays and you are good to go. People can smell you. This thing is really gonna push 
off of your skin for the first two and a half hours. And that's really the biggest difference between this and uh, the expressive version of this fragrance. So it all depends on guys what your preference is. Now, the good thing about this is there are slight variations in the scent DNA. So it's still, you get a similar scent DNA, but it's different at the same time. So you could just get all three and use them for different occasions. So if you wanted to go on a date night and have some a little bit more personal, you could go with the uh, personal interpretation of this fragrance. Uh, if you're gonna wear one to work, I would say, or something like that, or just out casual shopping, you may wanna go with the expressive because that's kind of the one that's kind of right in the middle as far as projection, performance, etc. If you're going out to a club or out and about, uh, or something like that, you're gonna be around a lot of people, you wanna stand out, then you could go with the bold interpretation of the fragrance because this one, again, is going to perform the best. My humble opinion, it's an amazing concept because it kind of gives you the ch a chance to wear a fragrance and depending on the circumstances or situation you're gonna be going into, uh, the setting, or depending on your mood, you can still wear a fragrance get a similar DNA, but kind of control how that fragrance performs just based on how you choose to wear it with these three different options. So I think it's a brilliant concept. Uh, if it's something you guys want to try, again, I will make sure I link it down below. Again, head over to Twisted Lily and do that. They have these scent space, it's called a scent space kit. And in this kit, um, you can actually uh, have all three. So you'll have all three and you can kind of experience it for yourself first and uh, see which one works best for you. So they have all three different expressions of this fragrance included. Why don't we do this? I'm gonna do a giveaway. Unfortunately, this will be limited to the United States because of shipping and things of that nature. Uh, but I wanna send this kit to some lucky subscriber. I wanna send this kit to one of my subscribers. They have, again, all three interpretations of the Velvet fragrance, the personal, the expressive, the bold. I want to uh, send this kit to somebody. All I ask is that you leave a comment down in the comment section about maybe what you liked about this video or maybe about this concept. Make sure you leave that comment down below. And um, I'll make sure I enter you into the, to the drawing. I'll leave this open for a week. I'll come back and select the winner and I will contact you and get your information and send you this kit uh, if you win. Let's go ahead and do that giveaway. And also guys, make sure you go at least go over and head over to Twisted Lily and check out the website. Um, as well, they have a lot of great fragrances in addition to uh, these commodity fragrances. So head over to Twisted Lily and tell them that the Bowtie Fragrance Guy sent you. All right guys, that's it, that's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video as I introduced this relatively new concept, uh, concept, I'm sorry, from the House of Commodity. As always, man, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time. I appreciate your attention to these videos. You don't have to watch, but you take your, a, two, a few moments to watch. And sincerely, man, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate that. Uh, don't forget, guys, to make sure you like, comment, and also subscribe. And make sure you share these videos out to some other folks that may uh, be able to use this information or may find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell absolutely fantastic. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.